Can I read your book, please? After next week, I'm gonna have a lot of free time. Do you ever feel like you're living someone else's life? Sort of like an out-of-body experience, except that basically it's all the time. Like, you're watching yourself live this life that you sort of accidentally ended up in. You just sit there shaking your head, wondering if this is where you were meant to be. No? Just me? Yeah, okay. But basically, when I gave my notice last week, the part of me that usually just sits back and wonders what the hell is going on. Well, he stood up and cheered. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm certain that I know that I'm headed in the right direction. I haven't felt that way in a long time. I told my mom that I quit, and she said, well, I certainly hope you don't think you're moving back in with us. The house is full. They have two extra bedrooms. I mean, it's not like I want to go back there. It's just, would be nice to be welcomed should I need to. So. I've been thinking about moving. It just seems to be the next logical step in this series of changes that I seem to be going through. You know, complete personality shift because I realized I hated myself. Quit my job because it was awful and I knew it was not taking me anywhere good. Move somewhere completely random and preferably far away. Makes sense, right? Or I'm gonna completely destroy any chances of ever having a profitable job ever again. Okay, trying not to freak out now. I have possibly made a huge mistake. I'll never work again. I'll never be happy again. Uh, will you excuse me while I go question all of my life choices? Okay, I'm not moving. That's just too much insanity for my life right now. I'll stay here in this apartment for the rest of my life. I wasn't in Colorado for that long, but I think your dramatics wore off on me. Thanks a lot. One of the assistants at work is completely convinced that I quit my job so that I could move to Colorado and be with you. That actually does make some sense. I mean, I go on vacation to visit you, come back, and five days later I quit my job? Yeah... Yeah, I could see how she would get that impression. Then again... This is the same woman that thought you were my girlfriend. I tried to tell her, but no. She asked completely serious if I was going to invite her to our wedding. She's like an embarrassing aunt who is constantly trying to throw me together with random girls. You're just the flavor of the month, I guess. Last month, it was her niece Elaine. I could never date a girl named Elaine. It reminds me way too much of Seinfeld. And on that wonderful note, <laughs> bye.